issues with um for instance this line isn't straight you have exposed tile you have exposed side of the tile here um back cuts this cut doesn't line up with this cut this is caulked but it's not caulked up here they just stopped <laughs> i guess the girl was too short to get up there i don't know and then again this tile that was originally installed the first time has little speckles that you can't get off so it's actually under the ceiling of the tile so that's a manufactured defect um this tile is cut bad that's been there from the beginning so that was actually supposed to be fixed on the second try and wasn't the whole shower niche i told the tile manager that came that has to go he actually agreed that this should have been cut at a 45 degree minor angle and not a perpendicular angle, which I knew and I don't even lay tile, but I just know aesthetically that's how it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to be perpendicular like this is supposed to be minor at a 45 degree angle. That's how you don't mess up these little cuts. So like this, this part is sticking out further than that part and it's making the grout look horrible. This tile is cut slanted this is skinnier piece than this piece so the whole thing is not cut right and then you have this big old gap of grout that means they cut this towel wrong or this towel is more off the wall than this towel and it's all supposed to be flush and plumb still have dirt in here from the second try they never cleaned in here i'm like how do you do work and then don't clean after yourself but that's just a whole thing with this builder. Um, there is a dent in this plastic plaster, which a towel guy said usually, you know, when you do towel, you should use metal because it's more durable and it looks better. But this builder uses plastic. So when you have repairs done, if you're not careful with the tile, it can ding up the plastic. So that's dinged up there. That's dinged right here. And then look along this. It's just messy. It's messy. So they are redoing all the spots that have red stickers. All that towel is being redone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on this side, two on this side, actually three on this side. This side mainly just has the speckles on the tile that needs to be um replace and i'm trying to make sure no other ones have it but this towel um just needs to be reworked because of that but this one especially this one down here has the speckles on it and i know it's a manufactured defect because the tile the leftover towel that was in the garage also had these specs like some of them so it came like that so, once they're done with all of that, I had to remove, again, all the stuff on our countertop because when they come and do work, they leave it extremely dusty. Sorry. When they come to do work, they leave it extremely dusty. They don't clean. So, I didn't want any of my stuff on the countertop, again, to have to clean. I have my knobs for the cabinets, but I'm like, why put those on when, honestly... The second time the girl tiled, 
She got spackle all in the walls. She got a ding in the wall that I had to get the drywall guy to come and patch up. So, drywall came like a week and a half ago as well and patched up any dings, patched up any corners that were exposed because they did a horrible paint job. I really feel like they only did one coat of paint in this house. But that's not a here or there. When insulation happened and the girl came, she dinged up the corners of this wall when she took the tile out to replace. So he came and drywall all of this. So being that the shower got approved to be redone a third time, okay, the drywall people have to come back out just in case they get more dings in the walls. Then finally, we can get everything repainted because painting has to be last. So drywall, any more dings that may happen after this shower repair, sand and paint. Then they have to hire cleaners to come back because the floors, of course, are going to be re dirty up by sanding and all of that so again the cleaner got to come back out which she had to come back out i think a week and a half ago this all happened in the same week y'all she came a week and a half ago to clean because it was grout haze all on the floor from when they redid the shower the second time and it was haze all on the countertop dust all of that so she has to come back out for a second time to clean so that's that. Here's my shower door in the closet. Um, little closet update for you. I'm sure the echo is gone now. So <laughs> we finally got everything on the wire rack on my little stand. My dresses are on this stand, my spring dresses. Got all of my purses and formal dresses up here. Hats, formal wear, headbands, winter hats. All my AKA luggage stuff. All of my... Telfar stuff, Glamaholic stuff, other stuff, bags. All of that will be reorganized once I get my pack system in, but for now, they're going up there. All of my pants are still the same. Shorts moved here. Um, additional purses on the floor because I'm waiting to get this mounted, and I'm waiting to get a second one of these to put here on that wall. And then my shoes, perfumes, uh, purses on this side um, it's leaning a bit because we haven't mounted it yet because I'm still trying to figure out if that's where I want it only because I paid for a plug here I paid for a plug here and I really don't want that plug being covered up I want to put my vanity here um, but until I can get rid of these wire racks and shift this stuff down this just has to be here for now and then once my pack system comes in I can reutilize the outlet that's on this back wall. So that's the closet update for now. Um, at least there are no more boxes in here. It's just a bunch of purses I have to organize into this Billy bookcase and the second one I'm getting. And then finally figure out the orientation of the pack systems, how many I need, what sizes, etc. I do have some leftover uh, stair light drawers that I reorganize and put some of my everyday tops in there. Um, vacation outfits that I don't really wear that often. Um, dress up tops, uh, AKA shirts, um, lounge pants, lounge t-shirts, all that good stuff. This hangs on the door, but because they're about to redo my shower, I took everything off the door because this closet door is gonna be closed. My water closet is going to be closed and I'm going to put towels in front so no dust gets into the other rooms. Also, my linen closet, I'm going to put towels along all of the thresholds so I can prevent dust from getting in those areas. And excuse me bumping into stuff. I have the camera still on my tripod. I could have taken it off, but I'm being lazy. <laughs> so, that's that. Oh, we did hang a curtain for the bathroom yesterday. I've literally been like <laughs> taking baths and getting in the bathtub and then watching Netflix on my phone which was my light to use to wash myself but I've literally been trying to hide and jump in the tub at night 
without my neighbor seeing me because I think my neighbor works out of this room uh, at night. So they do like calls and their stuff. Um, we hung this curtain finally yesterday. I got this curtain off of Amazon and it needs to be 54 or 58 inches. But I have it kissing the little ledge. I didn't want it to go below that. And um, because once I get in the tub, I'm actually going to open the curtains back up. Because y'all, at night, like, you can see the stars from my window. Because the houses aren't close together. So you can see the stars from my window. And it is so pretty just to lay in the tub and look at the stars. I ain't even going to lie. It's so pretty. So, I didn't want the curtain going all the way down because I don't want it to get wet. That's what the towel is for, to protect uh, the wall, so I didn't want my curtain getting wet. So, I have it coming down just enough to provide privacy, um, but I can still grab it from the tub and open it so I can have access to the sky at the stars, y'all. Anyway, that's the update for the curtain. And on this side, I'm going to find like a little painting. I have a plant to go in the corner here. So a little painting situation here. I just have to find one that matches the aesthetic of the bathroom. Um, it's mainly going to be blacks, natural woods in here. Um, again, like I said, I have my knobs, but I'm not putting those on until they're completely done with the bathroom. So right now we're opening them with our fat fingers, which is a pain. This mirror is for Kirsten's dresser. We just have it in here temporarily until I decide what mirrors we're getting for the bathroom because I don't know yet. I have to measure actually and see the length that I want. Don't know what I'm doing for that wall. We'll see. It's probably gonna be about a year in progress with this bathroom to get it how I want. But right now it is still a blank canvas because they have to finish the freaking shower. Moving on to the bedroom. No, I did not put the door up for Travis's closet yet. It is still down here. I'm going to try to work on that this week. Um, do whatever I can by myself. But I'm going to put the actual um, curtains up today. I found some curtains at um, Home Goods that I really like. They were too short. I got 84 inches and then they were too short. So I went back to return it and I found these that were similar. They were just more tan and the other ones were kind of more grayish. Let's see. They still play off of the grays and tans in the carpet and in my rug. So if you can see that it has creams and grays so it plays off both the rug and the carpet as well as the browns and tans in my bed so these are 96 inches in length um, I actually got 10% off they were what what were they let's see they were $34.99 I got like 10% off because this one has like some stitching right here I guess it got ripped I don't know I can cover that up with like a brown marker no biggie y'all if y'all see any damages on y'all products at home goods Marshall's Ross whatever ask for a discount this one has like a little you probably can't even see it on camera it has like a little faint line you can see it right there that's nowhere else I'm thinking that's like a piece of thread that just got pulled um, or just a manufacturer defect, but I got 10% off of that as well, hence the sticker. So they added a sticker for me. But these curtains are by Beauty Rest. They are a panel pair, so two panels. They're 37 inches wide, 96 in length. So these are basically going to be um, puddling on the floor, which is kind of what I wanted. I didn't want them to do a big puddle, but just a little puddle. I have 8 foot ceilings in the upstairs, so that's 96 inches. So, with me putting the rod about three inches below, they're going to puddle a little on the floor, which is fine. That's it for those curtains. Once I put them up, I'll show you what the room looks like.
So I'm gonna go ahead and put my piece on and then screw, put my piece, screw on here and then screw another screw right there. look not too bright and then they are blackout so I really like the color let me show y'all some detail here and then the imperfections that they had that I got discounts off of you can't even tell so look at the striations in that 
it gives it like a linen look but it's not linen it's actually like I'm sure it's polyester but it has like a a little sheen to it and again I'm going to steam it probably tomorrow I'm just gonna let it air out a bit I'm gonna steam it um, so that the pleats are more visible so as I'm steaming it, I'm going to just run my fingers through it to create that pleat. Kind of like how you do with the iron. But I really like it. And then I still have enough room for another pack system here. So She a little wrinkled, but that's alright. She gonna get fixed, y'all. She gonna get fixed. I'm gonna do the other window and then I'll show you what they both look like when I'm done okay y'all so here we go again I still have to steam the curtains they are like a polyester ish material so it's gonna take some TLC to get them straight and wrinkle free I could have used the iron but I was just ready to get them up I'm tired of having to sneak around my bedroom at night when I'm in my PJs or my undergarments so we just needed to get them up and then I will steam them and probably put some clothespins on them to help them create the pleat form. Um, kind of train them so to speak. But they are puddling a little bit at the floor which is okay. And that's my doorbell so I gotta go. But y'all let me know what y'all think of this color in the comments. All right, y'all, so the towel guy's here to do the towel. So I've covered all of my faucets, all of my door handles put towels in front of the other door so dust doesn't get in there cover my countertops as best as possible and the faucet so dust doesn't get on there so i've explained to him what i needed so let's see if he comes through Okay, y'all, so um, the guys in the bathroom redoing the shower. So I'm going to take some time to start with the closet door, Travis's closet door. We're going to see if I can do this by myself. But if it gets to a point where I can't, I'm just going to stop, cut, wait for Travis to get home, and we'll resume. But for now, the instructions seem a little bit straightforward so we just gonna run with it and see what happens so i'm gonna let some music play because it's a lot of banging as you can hear um child pray for your girl this stuff is heavy it's heavy Like when we first met Oh, I don't care It's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't wanna spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move How to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say Damn And yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do I won't do for your body so give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're mine, baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love I can't fake it when I'm with you, my legs go weak, yeah. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that I want So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your tongue That was 
a lot. <laughs> hey, yeah, top piece up. Wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. Complete mess, y'all. Glad I covered. Oh, and he covered everything up. Thank you so much. Because they didn't do that last time. <laughs> I'm getting here. Yeah, he still didn't take that side off yet. But yeah. Look at the mess, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Round three. You put your man in the room on Black Friday to be the princess? Uh, yes. That's why you thought you wasn't supposed to take care of this situation? volume now because y'all yeah, I just realized these doors are soft closed I didn't know that hey hey y'all hey. <laughs> look okay ready hold on let's see Ooh. let's do a close up do a close up do a close up hold on hold on let's see let me do it this way so y'all can see. Ready? I'm going to push it. Woo. Okay, I'm going to do a close up again. Y'all ready? Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to zoom in. All right. All right, let's check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh. Yeah, girl. Got soft clothes. Your girl got a soft closed door and didn't even know it. So if my husband like accidentally pushes it, it's gonna close soft because he is heavy handed, okay? I'm so excited about this, y'all. Okay, let's try it on this side, hold on. It's a little loud, but that says nothing to me. But that's one. <laughs> now we got to do the actual panels, I think, is next. Or maybe they'll want me to do the other side. Let me look at the instructions. Hold on. I know you have questions. I don't have answers. Clearly no manners, baby. I Cause pressure's gonna get the very best of me I Give a little something, doesn't come for free Oh, I know you have questions 
what to do, say anything, yeah One side done, you guys. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. It makes the room look so much bigger. Like, the camera does not do this justice at all. I'm sweaty, sorry. Um. Oh, my God. The room looks so much bigger. Mm. Y'all probably can't see this. The room looks so much bigger. I'm so glad I went with this. And I wanted to do the black, but they didn't, they do have the black, um, panel trim, but you have to buy that separately. So I would have had the gray ones just sitting around the house, but I actually like the gray because it plays off of the grays and the floor. So I am glad that I didn't order the black grids. So y'all, th this camera does not do it justice. Okay. Let me get my videos for my reel real quick. Hold on. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Um, cheer practice, all that stuff. Sorry, I got my bonnet on. I gotta get this hair on my face, y'all. So I did the second door frame, and I'm gonna put it over this one. I think, um, I have to somehow put it over this one without actually seeing it, so. Yeah. Let's see how this go, y'all. Okay. And I have some nicks that I put in the, like two nicks I put in the ceiling. So I'm gonna have to get a step tool and wipe those off when I'm done. It's cool, y'all. That's why I got white paint. Easy fix. These things are tall. You hear me? This thing, they are not heavy. They're not heavy at all. Okay, how am I supposed to do this? So this is supposed to go over, over, something like that, right? And then, I don't know if it's in all the way, y'all. I don't know. I think I got it, y'all. So I have to click it in there. So I put the door on. I guess it's in the track. And then I have to slide it. I have to slide it in. Here and then slide it over, and then I have to slide it over to stick it on this side. Okay, 
have to, this is where I have to adjust it. So hold on y'all. Okay, I figured it out. I had it misaligned. So now the two doors cross each other without getting blocked. So I had I had the new door on the wrong track. So now that I got that fixed, that took two seconds to figure out. Mm -hmm. So those are clicked in. So again, now this door moves in front of the other one and it's still soft closed. So look at this girl. Say hi to the box. Hello. Hello. Cheerio. Cheerio, darling. Look at how freaking big this mirror is like. Okay, y'all honestly just have to be in my room because this, oh gosh, on camera it looks so small, but in real life, it just looks like it's a whole nother room back there. Like it's huge. I can't wait for Travis to see this. Let me um finish these instructions because I don't think this is it actually. Um. There's a couple of more things I have to do to secure this bad boy. So let me do that. Hold on. Oh my God, so y'all please excuse the rest of my room. I have a mirror now, so everything's exposed. It's all right. No judgment zones here. So I'm about to clean this mirror because I got all my fingerprints on there. DIY. If I'm able to find links, I will post a link to this entire pack system in the description box. 
if y'all like what you saw <laughs> i don't even know how i'm gonna edit this video but if y'all like what you saw leave a comment below if there are any questions you have leave your questions below in the comment section and i'll be more than glad when I get the time to answer your questions for you. This process was pretty cut and dry. It was a couple of spare parts I had to wait on that was missing from my pickup order that I had to wait probably a week and a half for each spare part. So that was the delay. But so far, if we were to have done this uh, with everything in hand, without putting the clothes in, having all the spare parts already, it probably would have taken maybe two days to complete this project, maybe for about three hours total, four hours total max, with the efforts of two people. So I definitely would suggest doing this with a partner, a best friend, a family member, soliciting some help because you will need it. And I'm so excited about this. I can't wait for my hubby to see it because he deserves it. And I wanted him to have a space for all of his things. Again, I probably will be getting another pack system for him to place on this wall. Now that I have the curtains up, I don't know if it will be quite a 29 inch or if it will be just a 19 inch. But I'm going to pray about it. If he doesn't get that, then I'll definitely think about just getting him a dresser in here and fitting it somewhere in this space. Maybe under the TV, maybe on the opposite wall on his side of the room. But I just wanted something to give him for compromising with me and letting me have my own closet to myself because your girl got so many clothes, shoes, purses, accessories, all that good stuff. So again, like this video, share this video with your friends. Again, this is the IKEA pack system with a sliding mirror door. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Again, my name is Francesca Jeanette, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, influencer, blogger, new home build journey vlogger, and now house to home vlogger. So if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Click that subscribe button below. If you are a current subby, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting your girl. If you are also in your house building journey currently, leave your YouTube handle below so that I can subscribe to your channel and encourage you like you all have encouraged me along this journey. So I love you Boss Squad. Have a great night!